I am on Patreon and Patreon is a platform where, where I will upload interesting videos where you can learn astrology. Connect with me on Patreon. Much more deep insights on Vedic astrology and a lot more secrets will be shared there. Hello Seekers, welcome to Panish Astrology's Hiran Nehas channel and you are watching Sun Transit in Jesh Nakshatra Analysis and Sun will make its move in Jesh Nakshatra on 2nd of December and then till 15th, 16th of December, Sun will be in Jesh Nakshatra. Jesh is a nakshatra that is the final nakshatra of the Scorpio zodiac sign. It is also the nakshatra that as the name represents, it is the elderly one. It is it is connected with the Indra Dev, which represents power, status, authority. Jeshta means it is the peak of your rule. Because after this comes the Mula Nakshatra. The rule ends and you get fragmented by the power of the black hole. So Jeshta is your ultimate glory. And whenever sun moves in this Nakshatra, it's a very peculiar kind of transit. Jeshta's energy kind of kind of supplements or complements the sun attributes because sun is also the representation of leadership, power, authority, leading from the front. And Jeshta Nakshatra amplifies it. But the point is that this is Scorpio zodiac sign. That means this is the thirst of the king to execute the power, execute the authority for expansion and reach its peak of its glory. What will happen for all of us? Let's discuss that. But before that, do not forget to subscribe to my channel, hit the bell icon so that you don't miss another update. If you want to take my consultation, you can drop me an email. And if you want to book a one-stop path towards your success, if you want to book a comprehensive Kundli PDF that guides you through all your horoscopes, through the Dasha and Mahadasha, also gives you a snapshot prediction for next 10 years, gives you a 2025 highlight and also talks some about your numerology, your name, your date of birth. You can book that report. That's the system generated Kundli PDF report. The link is in the description box below. Let's start the analysis of Sun in Jesh Nakshatra. So Jesh Nakshatra is basically focused on achieving high status, respect and recognition. The Sun is the planet of self-expression. And now you want to express yourself, you will highlight your desires, you want to show that you want fame, success and acknowledgement. This is the time when uh, people may go after promotion, public recognition, you want to run towards the fame and there can be leadership opportunities for many people. So this is a good thing, right? But the problem is that both the Zodiac Lord and the Nakshatra Lord are retrograding. If you see, on 2nd of, uh, 2nd of October, when Sun moves into Jesh Nakshatra, Venus moves to Capricorn. That means Venus goes out of the second house from the Sun and goes into the third house. So it kind of gives the artistic expression to the Sun. Very good for comedians, very good for script writers, movie directors, art directors. But this also kind of messes up with your ego. Your Sun's zodiac lord Mars is debilitated in Cancer zodiac sign, another water zodiac, and it is going retrograde from 7th of December. Then Mercury was retrograde just now from 26th of November, and now Mercury is coming towards the Sun, and this is a Buddhaditya yoga, but a Sun and Mercury come, you know, close uh, transit happening, Graha Yuddha will happen, and Mercury becomes combust. So you see now, too many complications for a straightforward transit, which means that one thing is having a desire, another thing is actually ending up executing in the right manner. So you will see that it will bring challenges with ego and pride. Uh, Jeshta on one hand promotes strength, leadership and recognition. It brings challenges related to ahamkara. Now the sun transit can, you know, stir up an old revenge. Yes, Venus in Capricorn is trying to counter it. But when we focus on the sun, and if you 
instead of healing, instead of structuring and stability, if you focus on revenge, if you focus on ego, if you focus on the feeling of superiority, or if you go for power struggle, then this can create a political mindset where you want to win by hook or crook. And this is where the downfall begins. And this is where the concept of, you can say, protection and security gets maligned and becomes war-like situation. You need to be very, very well prepared not to fall into this, I will say, glorified story of Sun in Jeshta when the energy or the motivation that comes, you need to balance it with the practicality of Saturn and you need to enjoy the process by slowing yourself down so that Venus can heal through Capricorn. Now for Aries, Sun will be in the 8000 Jeshta Nakshatra. Therefore, this is about self-created transformation. You can fight and win over your fears. You will also see that you will break through into the role of leadership if you are into the executive leadership and senior authorities, people in politics will be surprised how gains and losses can come in their life. So try to be stable, try not to rush too much in your life and try to be grounded, protect your resources and deep with, deal with deep emotional and psychological issues with practicality. For Taurus, this transit will happen in the seventh house of partnership and it can, you know, change the power dynamics in relationship. For Taurus, Venus is in Capricorn. It's trying to heal you. So you should give it some time. But Sun in Jeshta on one hand can desire for more control. You will go for over the top expression and that may put your partner in off mood. And you know, you want to assert that authority, but relationship is not the case. Even in business partnership where it will be displayed way more than personal life, you may end up fighting with your business partner. Venus can salvage and save the situation, but if situation goes out of hand, there goes the partnership. So be careful. For Gemini, this is about struggling with your co-workers, power struggle with people that are junior or subordinates. But on the other hand, this can, your leadership quality, if you are humble, can also give you praises. So be very careful not engage into any power struggle. For Cancer Ascendant, this is more about Sun being in the fifth house. This is more about being very assertive, being very direct in your communication. And this means that you want to win at any cost. You may also end up trying to show authority towards your children. Maybe they are not listening and you want to scold them. You want to show some control, but that might backfire. Be very careful because Mercury is getting retro. Mercury is retrograde and Mercury is combust. Your communication may be misinterpreted. You might also feel a little overconfident about your learning and that can cause a lot of problems in your life. And this can really, really put you into uh, on one side, wants you put you into the creative side, but there can be unnecessary verbal tussle, verbal war that can make you lose your contract or can you know destroy friendship, something that was not supposed to happen. Don't feel, don't do something that you might regret it later. Leo Ascendant. For Leo, your Ascendant Lord is going in a very powerful state in the fourth house, which means you want to focus more on family and emotional security. You want to seek more control, leadership in your home, and uh, you can lead the family out of the misery, out of the problem. That is where this sun will help you. But if you're showing unnecessary authority and power over your family members, then Saturn will cause a lot of problems. Saturn is right in front of you, you know, in the, in the seventh house. For Leo, Saturn's seventh house position kind of brings in criticism if you go off the track. But if you are in the right track, you will be appreciated and applauded by people who admire you. So try to become a role model, even for a small child. For Virgo, Sun in Jeshta means Sun in the third house. This wants to make your communication very bold. This wants your action to be displayed, action to express by itself. So say for example, if you're a cricketer and someone sledges you, Sun in Jeshta's effect is, let your bat do the talking, don't reply back with words. Reply back with something that is remembered for lifetime and that builds your character. So Sun in Jeshta is a character building transit, especially for Virgo moon sign people. 
Also, if you try to show unnecessary authority over your brothers or neighbors, it can result into war and there can be legal or political troubles. So be very careful. Be very careful when you are speaking something against someone because this can create a lot of problems in your life. Libra. Now for Libra ascendant people, you will see that the sun in Jeshta will bring a lot of confidence on your wealth and your assets from your second house. You will be adhered to the values and you would want to fight that value system till death. This can make you arrogant. This can go against Venus in Capricorn. You can watch Venus, what, I, what I said in Venus in Capricorn in this video. But second house sun is actually very good for financial success. This gives you confidence. This makes you a leader. So if you are feeling slacky, if you're feeling low confident, sun in Jeshta can suddenly push you and say, get up. You need to earn money and give you ways to earn the money. Your family will love your aura. So try to be as positive as possible. Optimism is the key here. Scorpio. For Scorpio, sun is in your first house of self-identity and physical appearance. You will radiate that aura. It will significantly boost your self-confidence. Just don't be overconfident. It will give you personal power, but also ego-related challenges where you will be seeing head to head with the authority. It is a smart move to balance it with humbleness. If you become, if you go for a head on collision, well, your ascendant lord is debilitated and retrograde and Venus is in the third house. It wants creative solutions, not a war or don't convert it into a battlefield. Avoid verbal egos, go for self introspection and it is important to balance your desire for recognition with humility. Sagittarius, for Sagittarius sun rules your ninth house. It goes in the 12th house, so you will stand to gain from foreign lands, from foreign country. So if you work on foreign exchange, if you work for a foreign country or a company, good for you. If you work for an MNC and if you want to go at a higher level, at a leadership role, good for you. If you want to go for export and import, if you work in medical and lighting industry, it's a very good time for you. But this also means that you are trying to focus and fight to fight your fear. You are going inside your subconscious mind and bringing out the dirt. Time of detoxification, psychological detoxification is here. Doing Suri Puja, Aditya Hrida Stotra, Suri Namaskar, waking up early in the morning, welcoming the sun and fasting on, a, on Sunday is a very good remedy for you. Chant Suri Gayatri Mantra. For Capricorn, the transit will happen in the 11th house of network and friendship. This is the time when you will focus on your long-term goals. You may feel a desire to Show, assert your authority, uh, leadership in groups. Say, say you want to prove that you are a leader of the pack and this is where the mistakes may happen. This is where you might misjudge your enemy. This is where you might misjudge your own potential. So be very practical and grounded. Otherwise, you will be humiliated. There can be an emphasis on achieving recognition or success without social circle. So you will be like Akla Chorore. I want to walk alone if people are not behind me. To a certain extent, it is good. But don't walk alone towards death or towards a path of failure. So be pra being practical will be equally important. Saturn will help you on that. And there may be also a power struggle or ego conflicts with friendship or community. So don't end up fighting with your friend and burn your bridges. Aquarius will see Sun transit in Jeshta in the 10th house. It is extremely good for your career. It will help you reach the peak of your career. You will get appreciation. You will get recognition, promotions, all is on the card. But don't be egoistic about it. It may be short-lived. One mistake and your all your good work will be down the drain. And you will be only remembered for the mistake that you did. So try to be humble even in your greatest of your achievements at this point of time. This is a highly auspicious time for career advancement where you may take on a leadership role and gain recognition for your hard work. But be cautious of becoming too focused on the, you know, the status or pride, like being jealous about others and seeing others with a lower eyesight. You know, that kind of uh, thing will lead to conflict, especially in the workplace. And people will say that you are an arrogant person. Don't put yourself into that situation. For Pisces, Sun transit through Jeshta aspects your ninth house of higher education, philosophy and long distance. 
and there will be focus on gaining respect through intellect and in spiritual circles so people will love your intellect your knowledge and people will respect you for that so if you are a scientist if you are a if you are someone who has learned a lot if you are a scholar this is the time you will gain all the recognition and uh, you might feel the need to assert your belief more forcefully you might protect the dharma but be practical there power struggle related to your world view may occur at this point of time so try to keep your voice practical and low and neutral as possible and uh, sudden travel may occur that may incur certain expenses so this was all about the 12 zodiac signs for sun transit in jesh nakshatra see this is a time when power struggle is very common throughout the world but you will also see dramatic changes happening because of venus in capricorn that one planet can actually save many many disasters because it is healing both sun and mars so if you feel the power to exert or assert or if you are desperate about something meditate and allow the thing to construct on its own no matter how much time how many times you water the plant the plant will take its own time to bear the fruit think about it